That's our book. That's our book. He's 50 yards out right there. Let's get on him. I've been wanting to do this for a little while now, and that is hunt for white-tailed deer with the 12-gauge loaded with slugs. Now, for quite a while, you couldn't actually hunt for white-tailed ethically with the 12-gauge slugs. You can only use the 20-gauge. So, now, we can actually use the 12-gauge, and I'm really looking forward to trying that out, because when I was a kid, we used to always be able to hunt with 12-gauge for uh, gun deer season. So, I would always use my 12-gauge Benelli, 3-inch with uh, slugs, and it was really a lot of fun. So, I'm looking forward to trying and find some nice bucks but like anything else practice makes perfect and before we head out to the woods we're gonna head to the target range here take a shot at about a hundred yards and see how well we do that is not bad now we're zeroed in for 160 and that's about a hundred yards exactly so if we hold low that's pretty much right on i absolutely love wow i love this 12 gauge it shoots about an inch high at about 100 yards, which is honestly perfect. So now we'll put it out at 150 and see how well it works. There's 150. And let's see how we can do. Wow. I mean, I don't think I could have done that with M1. We just got to our first spot here, and this spot's actually been pretty good for decent bucks lately. I saw a pretty wide 10-point buck here uh, a couple weeks ago, and I'm hoping we can find him again. Last time I saw him, he was somewhere over there. I hear something. Looks like we got a doe coming in. A doe right there. Doe right there. Well, we sat there and waited for about 20-25 minutes, and he never showed up. So I think what we're going to do is see if we can't spot and stalk him. He's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, guys, they're right on top of us. Now, I can't actually see the buck, but there's a doe 20 yards in front of us. She's right there. That means the buck's got to be here too somewhere. Got to try and slide over a little bit because we are right on top of him. Oh my God. We found him. We just snuck up to 14 yards away from this buck. That's him right there. He's right on top of us. I'm gonna slide over a little bit. I think we're gonna take kind of a front on shot. Yeah, we'll get to the back side of this tree. I think we're gonna take the shot. Alright, here we go. Do we put this head up? He's down. Yes, we got him. Man, that was a tough hunt. I couldn't figure out where he went. We were way over there and we spotted this buck uh, a couple weeks ago on this backside over here. And I was hunting there for basically like 25 minutes today and he never showed up. So then finally I figured well, we should probably get down and see if we can't find him. And sure enough, we found him and here he lays. <laughs> we snuck up to 14 yards away from this beautiful white tail buck. Let's pick him up. That's gonna be a 194 gold and we double lung shoulder blade him at 15 yards away. That's a beautiful buck to start off this hunt. It certainly is. But let's take a look at a shot there. That's gonna be a 15 yard and we went right through the shoulder blade and got double lung. And I'm so glad we can finally use the 12 gauge and slugs to be able to hunt the white tail now. So I do wanna show you the spot where we found this buck here because it's an excellent spot. And I've gotten some monster white tail here where basically by Norden, I have a tent set up right here. And uh, the nearest outpost is this one here, the Norden outpost just to the north. And we took down that white tail buck right here at about 1300 in the afternoon. We got another pretty decent white tail buck out here. He's about 190. He's not quite as big as the last buck that we got, but he's definitely a respectable buck. Now, we have a good wind, but I think we're going to get uh, probably like 100 yards or so. And we'll see if we can't take a shot on this buck. Well, we're sitting here at about 130 yards out, and I don't really think we can get much closer. Because if we get any closer, we're not going to be able to see him until we get right on top of him. So, I'd like to take like a 130 yard shot here, which we could definitely do that. So, I think we'll try and zero in for 160 and... Hold for pretty much right on. Come on, turn back, turn back. 
That don't work. We dropped him. <laughs> we just dropped him at about 130 yards out with one single slug. Heck yes, let's go get him. That was a good buck. Solid, solid buck. It's actually going to be a 179 whitetail buck. We ended up getting a spinal cord vertebrae shot on him at 130 yards. That's kind of interesting though, because I was holding for the center lung for 160 and I thought maybe we'd have like an inch or two of raise, but looks like we had about a four inch raise there. Either way, still a pretty nice buck down with a 12 gauge. We got another pretty good whitetail out there. He's about 250 out. This time we're going to try and go for a 150 yard shot and try and not hit the vertebrae or the spine. He's pretty broadside there, about 220. If we can get maybe 50 yards closer, we'll be setting pretty good. Uh, are we still going to be able to see him, though, is the question. It looks like we should be able to. Oh, don't turn. Why'd you have to turn? Well, we're 180 out, which is pretty much where I want to be. But now he's turned the wrong direction. I just spotted that and I thought, no, what? Ooh. That's an even bigger buck. Okay. So scratch that first buck. We got an even bigger whitetail out here at 190. And he's actually pretty broadside. There's a little pocket right there. Looks like we're going to be about 160. Is that a doe in front of him? Yeah, there's a doe right there. Okay, so 165 is right there, right on the money. Let's see if we can't take this shot. Shot looked awesome. Held it right behind the front shoulder and that should take him down. A couple of black tail in there too, it looks like. Let's go take a look. Yeah, that was a uh, haul of 160 for sure. So he was somewhere around here and I saw him cut over. Oh, there he is piled up right there. Man, he must have went maybe 20 yards, not even, and piled up right here. Let's take a look and see how the 12-gauge slug did at about 160 yards. And let's pick him up. That's going to be a left lung shot at 164 yards. And we actually got a little bit of raise on that because I was holding for the center of the lung. And it looks like it shoots about an inch high. But a 186.9 is not a bad whitetail buck and a 164-yard shot. Pretty cool. I was just about to head to our next spot and I jumped up a massive whitetail. This thing's like a 14 point super, super tall rack and he's definitely a giant buck. Somewhere over there. So we're gonna see if we can't track him down and try and get set up on this massive whitetail. Okay guys, we just snuck up to about 50 yards out. I can see an entire herd of whitetail. That's not our buck. That's a good buck, but that's not our buck. I don't know where our big buck is. Another good buck there, but still. That's our buck, that's our buck. He's 50 yards out right there. Let's get on him. It's not really a shot. But that is. He's down. Yes, we got him. Maybe get a double. I uh, can't quite get that shot off. just so thick in here that's why it was so difficult to get close enough to this buck here and finally we did and we're about 50 yards away and just smoked this giant buck man he was a smart old big buck he really really was we circled back a couple different times to try and catch his track and he just kept on evading us but finally we got him down let's take a look at this beautiful buck let's take a cool picture of that actually really cool lighting just like that and let's pick him up that's going to be a 235 scoring white tail. We took him at 41 yards out. We double lunged him with a 12 gauge there. Centered the lung pretty nicely and got some pretty good penetration as well. And that sucker weighed almost 200 pounds. What a beautiful white tail buck. Yeah, that's definitely our buck. When I saw him jump up, I knew he was super, super tall and really thick and had a ton of points on him. Now I look at him here, you can definitely tell that's him. And I think he's gonna look incredible in our trophy lodge. So let's get him mounted and head back to the trophy lodge. 
But first, let me show you where we found this big old white tail buck, and that's going to be just south of the Rudici Church right here. Here's the Rudici Outpost. Rudici Church is right here, and we got him. Uh, well, he was technically drinking right here, I think, or maybe he was feeding. I don't even know what he was doing, but we took him down here at about 1400 in the afternoon, and uh, this is how we found him. So I actually picked up his track way over here. There was a random big buck trotting off this way. I circled around and he actually looped all the way back here and we tracked him. Finally, he circled back and we took him down right here at about 1400 in the afternoon. Well guys, welcome back to our trophy lunch here. We had a very successful day hunting with the 12 gauge slugs and we ended up taking down two really nice whitetails, but this is our biggest one of the day, a 236 whitetail buck that we got with the 12 gauge pump loaded with slugs and yeah i definitely recommend trying it out it seems like you can get good penetration out to like 160 170 yards so yeah it's a lot of fun anyways that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time